Neeraj Sharma, Head of Strategy at NCC, is joining us now to talk more about the numbers. Look at the stock price, one and a half percent higher. But first, let's talk about the third quarter numbers. How has the company performed in the metrics uh, this quarter, Neeraj? And uh, uh, the concerns about margins, one section of the street believe that they may stabilize around these levels. Do you see it happen or it may improve? You have asked two questions, you know, firstly about the performance in the third quarter, we have, you know, uh, we have hit the target, the, all the numbers that we had shared with the street. And when we talk about the, our performance, you know, for the last nine months, uh, we have delivered a growth of, you know, about 35 odd percent. So that's a good number to hit, you know, about the margins. What we had shared with the street was, you know, a better margin of, you know, 10% onwards. And as we speak, we continue to stick with, uh, you know, with that number. Right. Can you um, also uh, tell us a little bit more about your guidance? Because you have revised that upwards despite registering a dip in your sales. So what's driving the confidence that makes you say you're on track to achieve that guided growth of 30 to 35%? There has not been any dip in the revenue. I do not know which number are you really talking about. Let, but let, let, me, let me give you a little background. At the start of this financial year, we had uh, shared three numbers with the street. The first number that we had shared with the street was, you know, the order inflow guidance of 26,000 crore. The second guidance number that we had shared with the street was, you know, 20% growth in the revenue. The third number was, you know, EBITDA margin, 10% onwards. So as we speak, you know, for the uh, for the for our performance in the nine months, we have almost hit the number. When we talk about the order inflow, we have already achieved about 82% of the guidance, that is 21,238 crore to be precise. The, 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 the revenue growth also, if you talk about the nine months performance, uh, you know, it has been um, about 35 odd, per, odd you know, percent growth. Margin also, we continue to stick with the same number. Um, so I was uh, referring to a dip in the uh, in the overall uh, net sales, not in the revenue. So hence was talking about your overall uh, guidance down the line. Now moving on in the con call as well, you had mentioned that you had bagged an LOA worth about 1250 crore rupees. Can you tell us a little bit more about this order win? And from this, what kind of an order uh, top line potential do you see? That is something, you know, we have just, you know, received the LOI. We got the news. But there is a process that we follow in our company, you know, to formally announce that number. So we are waiting for a written communication post that, you know, we would be very happy to share that with, uh, you know, with uh, that order with the street. That said, you know, in our uh, line of business, even if you receive, you know, um, one um, order from a client, it takes time really to, you know, uh, to convert that order into revenue. You know, you have to prepare the drawings, you have to take the approval, you have to mobilize, you know, then the final, the revenue cycle, depending on the contract that we sign, really starts. So there is a time lag. And, you know, the, um, uh, once we have that number, most probably that should be able to, you know, contribute something to our revenue next year, you know, next couple of years. Nirad, I want to talk about the smart metering opportunity for a company like yours. I understand that you are participating by bringing in a partner in Maharashtra. For a legacy infra company, uh, how does smart metering as a business line of actually fit in and how meaningful can it become going forward for you? Yeah, yeah. two questions. Firstly, I beg to differ with you when you say that, you know, uh, we are a legacy company and we have nothing really to do with, you know, this kind of business. It is our considered view that, you know, this is something that we have always been doing, you know. We have a big division when we talk about the, you know, order book, about 22% of our total order book comes from that division, what we call electrical TND. What we do in that line of business is, you know, we try all kinds of, you know, distribution, transmission sort of project. And we have been um, closely working with all these, you know, SCBs, state electricity boards, for the last couple of decades. So we know what it really takes to, you know, uh, provide connectivity to the household, 
and the smart meter is just an extension of you know that line of business so you know um, so that is something that we have always been doing and uh, we are quite confident to you know execute uh, the smart uh, metering project that we have backed uh, that's very good to know how are the margins here uh, how 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 can it start contributing to your overall profitability yeah, yeah. so the, we have bagged three projects you know um, uh, in this space the total the total order value would be close to 8000 crore but these projects are you know sort of sort of you know annuity sort of projects in the first 27 months of the project we need to execute the project then what the client calls, you know, the O&M part starts. So we have to continue to, you know, maintain all these assets for about, you know, 10 years time. So the revenue, the, the EPC part, you know, in next, uh, by, um, next about a quarter or next, you know, couple of quarters, we plan to really start, you know, execution of the work. In fact, I would be very happy to share with you and the street that we have already mobilized, we have already recruited a lot of people, we have set up, you know, our offices in all these important locations where we need, need to really roll out, you know, these smart meters. The work has really started. The revenue would start, you know, from the next financial year. Okay, I understand. A very smart turnaround, I must say, over your, overall in your business. And now you're adding new lines of business or growing, uh, your, you know, the, the one you already had, perhaps 20% electrical TND. In five years from now, what, how can we see the company growing into the size of your balance sheet, uh, your top line profitability with these new businesses also being incubated? That's a very you know difficult. We really do not uh, talk about you know five years timeline. Uh, for for you know infrastructure business, it really you know the 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 the, the way we function is you know. We are executing a lot of projects, you know, 150, 200, you know, those number of projects. So it's very, you know, hypothetical to talk about what is really going to be a revenue five years down the line. We 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 have not shared that number with the state. That said, that said, we continue to grow the the kind of uh, opportunities which are really playing out in this space. The kind of growth. You know, we we do not we have to also take into account the kind of growth that we have delivered last year. That was, you know, FY23, 35 percent growth. So we we hope to you know maintain these kind of growths for the next you know several years. In fact, the infra space, this 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 opportunity is something that is going to play out at least for next four five decades, not only for five years. So as a, as a big player, you know, uh, we continue to make best of the opportunities, you know, uh, which uh, comes our way or, or which are available, uh, you know, uh, to execute. Outlook then when it comes to your overall debt reduction, a quick word. We have already shared a number with you, you know, the debt is mostly the working capital debt. As I shared with you, the last year also we have delivered. So it, you need working capital whenever the company is uh, delivering, you know, this kind of growth. You need the working capital. So most of this debt is uh, working capital debt. And uh, we have already shared with the state that this this year, uh, we, uh, we are planning to close around, you know, 1300 to 1500 crore. Okay, good to have you on board. Thanks so much for joining in and of course understood with respect to that working capital requirement. Tell you what,